Hi everyone, welcome to Book Chat. My name is Leslie and I lead the Reading Safari and Stream programs. Today I have a super fun book for us. Uh, it is called Wow No Thank You by Samantha Irby. This is a book of personal essays. It was published earlier this year and let me tell you that this book as well as its author are both national treasures or at least they are to me. Um, so the thing about Samantha Irby, the author, is that she is hilarious, irreverent, and she does use a lot of curse words, so keep that in mind if you decide to use any of her, read any of her books. That does not bother me, um, but I know it bothers some. She is just so funny, and she, what, so what, what I love about her is that she's very truthful in her, um, desire to maybe not be a better person, uh, to kind of be this, um, I don't know, opossum type human who likes trash and likes trash TV and trash novels and trash food and stuff like that. And I find that kind of unapologetic, um, attitude very hilarious and also very refreshing because we're not supposed to you know, we're not supposed to like, like real housewives and, and things like that. We're supposed to call it like our guilty pleasure. And I like that she doesn't really seem to feel guilty about any of it. So, um, that's one thing that I like about her. Another thing that I like about her is that her book right now just feels like, um, it was the thing that I didn't know I needed. So I, I read it last week and I didn't realize how stressed I was because when I read it, I started laughing so hard at some of the things she was saying. And that kind of made me realize, wow, I've been so, so stressed because I was laughing so hard that I was almost crying, you know, and some, have you ever gotten to that point where you're, you know, you, you almost can't tell the difference. Uh, her work has definitely brought that out, uh, in me. So in, um, in past books, Samantha Irby has written a lot about having, you know, Crohn's disease. Um, so she's written a lot about, you know, going poop <laughs> and, uh, that feeling of needing to poop in, in opportune moments, which is, she makes into this very hilarious thing. Um, and this one, you know, there's some more talk about Crohn's disease, but there's also a talk about, you know, getting married, um, joining a ready-made family um girls nights out once you reach middle age and then my personal favorite or one of them anyway is about how she's addicted to her phone so i'm going to read you an excerpt from that essay called hung up um i'm editing this for uh length and also because there's some curse words in there that i'm not gonna say out loud on this video so here we go um a terrible thing happened to me when i went to dinner with a kind of pretentious know-it-alls whose idea of fun is to condescend to you about wine and make fun of you for pronouncing words incorrectly. One of these smug people boldly suggested that we all put our phones face down in the center of the table for the entirety of the meal and the needlessly lingering discussion afterward. They did it. Grudgingly, I did it too. When a modest board with a perfectly reasonable slab of rosemary crusted bread was placed in front of me, the first thing I thought was, I wish I knew what everyone else on earth was doing at this exact moment. I wonder if there is a device nearby that could tell me. We talked during dinner because my companions wanted to connect to one another. Everyone talked and talked and talked, but it was the kind of talking where you know every single person at the table is low-key wondering what they're missing on Twitter. I'm not really a post a picture of my fancy meal kind of person, but I could tell that other people wanted to. The air in that extremely Instagrammable restaurant was heavy with mixed, missed opportunity. Do you know what we talked about while cringing internally as the carafe of tap water we actually had to pay for came perilously close to splashing onto our helpless devices every time it was passed? TV shows, which you can watch on a phone. Books, which if your eyes haven't already burned through the back of your skull from being on your phone all the time, you can read on it. Murder podcasts, which are specifically designed to be listened to on a phone, in the shower, or during a nightmare commute. Okay, fine, maybe you listen to podcasts on your computer while you're working. But can't we admit that your laptop is little more than a giant foldable phone? And that's where I'm going to stop with that excerpt. Um, I just love how she is not afraid to talk about how she's addicted to her phone. 
and how she refuses to kind of see it as a bad thing, even though she knows that she should see it that way and that, um, that other people, the majority of people see it that way too. So I love that about her. She's honest. She's unflinching. She uses a lot of cuss words. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I just think that she is, um, just such a great writer. So funny. And I hope that you will check out this book because we've got it in our collection and our digital collection and we have her other books as well. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in this time and I'll see you for our next book chat. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.